So this video is basically going to be a shameless plug for my new book. It's called Modal Ultimate Picking and you can find a link in the description below where you can buy it. It's nine bucks and it's way underpriced I think for what you're getting. Uh, but I'm not just gonna you know tell you to buy my book even if you should. Uh, you should actually watch this video so you can see what it's all about. So basically the book is going to take you through what I call the three zones. Hence the power of three in the actual thumbnail. And if we take a major scale here from C, we can start with the index finger on the C note. And I'm using a three note per string uh, approach here because I think that's better for you know, alternate picking and all kinds of different techniques. Zone one looks like this. We start on the index finger on the eighth fret. So that's gonna be a root here, the C note. We just go up like this. And what I call zone two, start on the same note again, but on the second finger, has nothing to do with the actual fingering though, that's gonna be different for different scales. But in this case, it's gonna be the second finger as well, so easier to remember. And now we also have the seventh here, since we have, uh, it's not the lowest note of this pattern, it's just uh, we have the seventh uh, scale degree here on the index finger. So I'm actually gonna add that as I go up, so I cover all the notes. Let's go up as normal and then finally I can start on the pinky here and then I get all the way down to the sixth or the A note. And you might wonder what's the significance of this? Well, it trains you to see the intervals uh, from this note, so you can see you have the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth and so on. You see all the intervals from here to here basically. And then you, you do the same thing from here to here. Now you're gonna get notes on this side of, of the hand as well, so to speak. And then finally, when you start here, you basically not gonna get any notes over here, except for the last note, but you're gonna see all the intervals going up like this. So it's kind of like when you're writing, when you, if you go to Microsoft Word, something similar, you're gonna see that you can have the, the a left aligned text which would be kind of like this because you started here on the left side of the guitar and you have all the text here, but that's our intervals. And then you can have the, the middle aligned ones, so you have everything here, and then the right aligned, so you have everything here. So there's just an analogy so you can sort of understand what I mean here. This is so beneficial because you, you get everything in a specific context, and the context being the root note. And the root note is what's gonna give all these other notes of whatever scale you're playing, the sound of the scale. So now I'm showing this in the just the major scale, but in the book I'm going through all the seven modes related to the major scale, and we're going to do it all from this C note. And obviously I'm, I'm showing you also how you can expand this and do it on the keys and all that stuff, but I can absolutely promise you that if you go through the book in the way that it's intended, you're going to have a much, much stronger view of the neck, and also your technique will be way better and you will also improve your ears, especially if you take my advice and use the drone uh, backing tracks. And those are provided for free. I have a playlist here on my YouTube channel. So, but pricing with a drone backing track is really helpful because it really gets these, uh, you get the context of every scale that you're playing. What you can do then, you know, if you don't want to pick up my book for whatever reason, which sounds like a very stupid idea, take whatever exercise you can think of uh, in the book I go through all different intervals from seconds, thirds, fourths, fifths, all the way up to octaves. We go through triads, we go through groups of two, uh, sorry, groups of three, groups, groups of four. It's a routine you can follow and just get comfortable with, with the whole routine in one key. So meaning do it first in the major scale and then the routine, the intervals and all the, the exercises will kind of feel similar but you're going to change the fingering. So if I go to, for example, C Phrygian here, then I'm gonna get these fingerings instead. But 
But as you can hear, uh, even though this shape is technically the same fingering as the one we used from here, uh, so I'm doing A, A flat major and C Phrygian and share the same notes, but since you hear the C here as a root note, it really sounds Phrygian. doesn't sound like a major scale because your ear is trained on that note. So that's the whole point of working through these exercises. So if you don't want to pick up the book for whatever reason, at least try this. So take the three songs uh, I showed you, put on a drone. Again, I have a playlist that I'm going to link in the description. Uh, so just put on the C drone, start on the eighth fret, and then just play the, this first shape. Just do it a bit randomly, just go through the scale in a, whatever way you want, but keep it to this shape. Uh, and you can do it as slow as you want, I think that's better than doing it fast, because you really want to hear what you're doing. Uh, and do that for a while and get a feel for it, and then you do the same thing starting on zone 2. And just going through it and getting a feel for wherever everything is. And since you have the drone, you're really going to hear a, a strong pull back to the root note. And you're starting to uh, get an appreciation for the different characters of these notes. So it's a very intuitive thing when you work through the scales in this way. So, and then you do the same thing with the, the, the third zone as well. So, I think it's very important just to experience this so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, and obviously you can come up with all kinds of different exercises. One thing that's really helpful to do is to find some sort of sequence or melody that you like. And let's say I just go... Uh, so I have one, three, five, one, three, four, three, one, five, three, one. And I don't call this eight because it's the octave, I just call it the root note, so one again. Uh, and then I can find the same thing in this position. So, so one, three, five, one, three, four, three, one, five, three. The same thing here. Oops. So that's the, the basic idea. So you can just find uh, something that you like in each, in whatever zone you're in, and then translate that into the other zones. Uh, so, and that's a good thing to do, whether or not you've, you've gone through the routines in my book. So uh, really take this seriously, even though it might seem very simple and a bit like, well, what's the point of doing this? I promise you, just doing that, and doing that for a few days, you're gonna start seeing the guitar in a, in a different way and understanding more and more how much the context of whatever you're playing over is gonna give you the sound uh, when it comes to ear training stuff because we really hear things uh, in a bigger context. You don't really hear things from interval to interval, meaning if I play this, you don't necessarily hear this as a descending fourth, ascending major second, ascending major second and ascending minor second. You actually hear it as, this is the context, you hear this as one, five, six, seven, one. So sitting around and, and really paying attention to this will help your ear so, so much. I can't stress that enough. But enough rambling about this stuff. Pick up the book and see you in the next video.